Hello and welcome to day seven of my 31 day art challenge. Today I'm going to do something I haven't done in a while, which is alcohol inks. So I got this idea from Pinterest seeing a cool silhouette with some beautiful, um, what I think is alcohol ink. It could have been watercolor. Um, but I was like, hey, I have tons of vinyl. Um, I want to start getting smaller prints being able to be made for my paintings and blah, blah, blah. So I decided to try out some of my paper, my alcohol ink paper, and my vinyl that I already had extras from other projects for. And so I'm going to, and I actually did do a sample I'm really sad that this didn't turn out because the background turned out great, but this is a like a cheap alcohol ink paper that came with a kit and it ripped when I was pulling all this stuff. Otherwise, it would have been awesome. I think it turned out really great. Um, had some metallic and a little bit of red. I think it turned out great, but then it was just ripping and so I was really sad. But then I was like, okay, I'm not giving up because I do have actual Yepo paper that is... Um, meant for alcohol inks and so I had some five by seven sheets of yellow paper so I got that and got that out and decided to try it again so I tried it again and it turned out really great it didn't pull and all that stuff so I'm really super happy with how that turned out so I decided to actually video me doing this one so I um, I'm using a little hair dryer that you can take the attachment off for that can be on cool because um, that's important to help blow things around. I do have this where you just manually blow out the air, but I do like working with this because it makes me work quicker and all that good stuff. And then I have Pinata Silver and I also have Ranger celestial pearl that I'm going to use. And then I have, I just bought these on Amazon. It was a whole kit of a whole bunch of different colors. Um, navy blueberry and forget me not. I'm just going to do a variation of different, um, blues mixed with the silver because in the movies, the colors for Ravenclaw are blue and silver, which is pretty. They are bronze and blue in the book. So I might add a little bit of brass to it. We'll see. I haven't decided. I might add that into that, but I know blue and silver work way better together and I am a silver girl, so we'll see. But I also have my alcohol, just plain alcohol. It's isopropyl alcohol um, that I will be using as well. So those are all the tools that I'm using. So I probably won't talk, talk much. You might not even hear me very much, but that is, and I try, we'll, we'll try not to get too much in the way but you know you can't really it's kind of hard for you to see when when I'm doing stuff so I wonder if I can I don't know I can't really move it to make it be a little bit I don't know anyway so it is what it is but you'll get to see it and maybe I'll zoom in a little bit more so you can see a little bit closer and we'll still see how she goes. So I'm going to start with some just alcohol. I've got to make sure that these stay shut. Because they settle really quickly. I don't think these ones do as much because they don't have a ball in them. It's the metallics that, that have problems. So I'm going to start with... It would help if I had the gap off. Here we go.
Oh, that one's not open. Apparently, I will not be using that one. because you can actually, there are some points that you can actually erase things and that one actually erased really well. So that's good. I, that's why I didn't worry about that part too much because I knew, and this is just stuff getting on my fingers. Okay, I also, this one wasn't opened, so I need to open that up really quick so I can use it. Okay, because I do want to use the light blue to mix in as well. Okay, now we will go and work on some more. Nope, don't go down that far.
need to go through. I'm going to get some alcohol on this. I don't want some of this stuff that was went along the corner. I didn't want that. So let me get rid of that. And of course, my little finger marks. Okay, so that looks pretty awesome. Uh, right now, I'm going to put you on pause and I'm going to take all the little vinyl off and I will show you the result. Holy cow, guys! I am super happy with it. Look at all my little pieces that I had to take off quite a few. But I think it turned out super nice. I'm excited. There are a couple few little places that smudged. If I would leave it overnight and let it completely dry, I don't think that would have happened. So, um, definitely learned some stuff here. But there are some shimmeriness. I did not use the alcohol pearl, celestial pearl, or the brass in this one. Uh, I just kind of it just kind of went where it went and I am really happy with it, which makes me happy. This is 5x7. I know that making prints of it will probably not bring out the shimmeriness of it, but I think that it looks really pretty even if you can't see the shimmeriness, so I might, I might make some prints. Um, of this and of course all the other houses because I may be Ravenclaw but I'm an equal opportunity person not everybody else is so anyway I was super excited with how this experiment turned out and it was something completely different from what I usually do in my on my YouTube video so hopefully you enjoyed a little change of pace I will probably be doing more of these throughout the month to prepare for some I have lots I have one two three four events coming up next month so I have lots to prepare for and this is definitely a big step in what I wanted to accomplish so thank you for being there for that with me if you have not liked or subscribed to my page yet please do so uh, that would be so much appreciated so I can start getting more views and um, more noticed on my uh, with everything. I might change my name back to what my other business, uh, Pearlized Designs, is called. I'm still debating whether I should do that. Um, so I may change my channel name, so we'll see. Um, I've been kind of playing around with that. So anyway, I am so grateful you joined me today and I will see you tomorrow for something different. See you later. Thanks. Bye.